Jesus is the reason for the season, for every season. Here's the tack pen. We have um, the dove. Christmas dove. Put that with it if you want. Little heart charm. I'll stick this with charms. I've got some charms in the hobby lot, so I'll put that in the hobby lot with the other charms. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. Told you it was pretty. She's iridescent, too. That's awesome. I don't know what that's made of. It almost looks like a mirror. Oh, it is a mirror at the back. I can see myself with a tassel. Is that not beautiful? I've never seen a cameo like that. It's got that iridescence to it. Oh, she turns blue when you look sideways. Not blue that way. Turns kind of white there. That's very pretty. Very interesting. Good job. Yeah, I want it. Okay. Yeah, I thought you'd like that. Yeah, that's pretty. We have some more of these. We opened one up. They're black velvet inside. They're a little trinket box. This one's for February. I don't want to take the covering off of them. This one's also February. And that is... Is that a scratch on that one, honey? This one's March. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because the top's off of it. That one's March, so we have two March, two, three Marches. Wow. There's a jet of January. And a January. That's your garnet. March is your aquamarine, I think. February is your amethyst. May is emerald. June is pearl. July is ruby. August is peridot. September is sapphire. October is, can be opal or it can be um, onyx or tourmaline. November is citrine. December can be zircon, blue zircon. Um, tanzanite or turquoise. So there you go. Did I get them all? I don't reckon. I think I did. So why would I remember that so well? It's because we have people having birthdays every month. <laughs> Just about. <laughs> Just about or something special happened in that month. That's one of those necklaces that attaches to the top. I just sold a top like that, where the necklace attached. Here is a brooch. It's got um, polished and satin type brushed gold tone metal. Very pretty. I don't see any marks, so I don't know who did it. Now, which way would it go? That way? Yes. Go either way. Either way. Your choice. Mm -hmm. Get on with it, Robin. That's got a mark. Maker's mark on it, too. This has a maker's mark. It's Monet. What a surprise. It's very well made. Probably a tag, not a mark with tag. Yeah, a tag. It's got an extender with the little bead and it's got a hook clasp. It's vintage. And it's in excellent condition. Very nice. We have dolphins, playing dolphins with their little baby. Looks like something might have hung from there, I don't know. With this pretty blue uh, suede cord. 
lobster claw class. I have a pretty pendant that will go because it goes with this blue too. I mean, a pretty hang thing. I'm going to play with that one. Okay. Here is a... Bones hair. <laughs> is that or fuzz? Oh. I think I, no, I didn't get it. Oh. It's a little um, rhinestone, green, prong set, stretchy bracelet. Here's a cross with rhinestones, leather, suede on, it's very nice leather, very soft leather. Has different places you can snap it. Right now, I think it's, yeah, as large as it goes and it just fits over my hand. It's a very nice bracelet. Oh, here's an alpaca. And all the inlaid pieces are the abalone are in there, so that's fabulous. It is stamped on the back. Alpaca Mexico, I'm sure. We don't know because she won't leave it still long enough. Yeah, Alpaca Mexico, you can only see part of it. And I have a medium sized hand. So it fits, you know, it, it fits snug, and, but that's good, I think, because then it doesn't roll around on your arm and drive you crazy. So very pretty. Here's another in white and gold beads. Little cuff. Very well made. Very cute. Hair piece. A uh, hair snapper. Here's another shoe clip. And it matches the one we had earlier. Oh, no, it's a different one. Yeah. I think that other one came from a different jar. Yeah, yeah last night's jar had it. So put it over there with the earrings and I'll look for it tonight. Okay. Here's a brooch with beautiful green capuchons. Very large. You can see it takes most of the palm of my hand. In contrast, there's this brooch in silver tone, very ornate. Here's the back, it's in excellent condition. I don't see any marks. Here is a cross 925 ring. It's too big for me, so let's see how big it is. It's a size eight, eight and a quarter. And there's your cross. Very nice. 925, honey. Okay. This little ring right here is six and a half. Looks brass to me. Looks like it has an onyx in the center. I'm looking for marks. I'd love for it to be gold. Let's see something here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to test this. Okay. It's not as brassy as I thought it would be. So let's make sure it's not gold. And so we're going to start with 10 carat acid. 10 carat, testing 10 carat, gold, and if that disappears, then we don't have to go any further. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
blast off, it disappeared. Boo. Bye-bye. <laughs> yep. It's brass. Just like I said. Well, let me see if it was magnetic. Yeah, see, it's magnetic, so it's, that part is, the ring is not, that part is not. So the ring, the basic ring is brass, but this is a mixed metal up here. Give it one close look again. Okay, thank you, honey. Mm-hmm. Your patience is astounding. Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't know. Are they links? Are they scarf things? I don't know. I'm going to put them in the hobby lot. These are Austrian crystals, I think. Beautiful. With an Aurora Borealis. No, they're not Austrian. They're not cold enough. Very beautiful. Here's a little handmade Christmas ornament that I think is adorable. With Santa. It's an old picture of Santa. I'm going to put that in the hobby lot. You can keep it. I don't care. No, I'm just... <laughs> I'm thinking journal, honey, and junk journal and stuff. Here is... Got a bell with a bead in it, stuck in it. Oh. Ooh, oh, yeah, that goes with that. Remember that butterfly I had, that stick pin? No. I think, well, I think this is the stick, the bottom of the stick pin for it. Oh. Or maybe not, no. No. I can't get it out. You, you work on it. Here's Noel. Somebody's made this too. I'm gonna put that in the hobby lot. Very sweet. Here's a tack pen. Some ranch. It's Ronald Reagan Ranch. Oh, Reagan Ranch? Uh huh. I'm 2003 member? Yeah. Well. That's special. Here is a Closene ring. The inside is enameled. And the outside is a Closene. It's got little flowers. I'm not sure what that is. There you go. Oh, what size is it? It is a size seven and a half. The next is a lovely hand holding a stone with marcasites in it, which I think this is a silver piece. And I don't see any markings. So I'm gonna test it with a magnet first. I need to test that stone. It looks to me like a, um, I want to say it looks to me like a garnet. Will you test this while I run go test the stone? Sure. Where's the stuff? Oh, sorry. Thank you. We'll be back, folks. It's silver, and that is a garnet in there, and there's marcasites up at the top of the hand. And again, here's the back. It is marked. I think it's marked in there. It's just deeply marked in there. Yep, we still can't read it. Okay. We have a bar pen. It's gold tone. I don't see any marks. I'm assuming it's gold tone. 
Yes, it's magnetic. We have a queen. I don't know what queen. It's marked on the back something. Germany. So you can look at it and tell me. It's not Mary, is it? I mean, I would think Mary would wear a crown. Mm -hmm. Like that. There is a copper ring that has a little bit of silver left, mostly copper. I'm gonna put that in the Hobby Lot. Here's your bling. <laughs> That's cute. Cute to wear in an engagement party. Announcing your engagement. That's very cute. That's a cute brooch. Here is a Hooters Elizabeth. <laughs> well, I like the owl. And I like the name Elizabeth. She'd send that to Libby as a joke. Yeah, okay. Put that in the family box. Here's uh, Uncle Sam. Little pendant. I'm going to put that in the, ho at the Hooters. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In the Hobby Lot. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I haven't even had any wine. Is that a hint? <laughs> that is, I'm starting to call that the Hooters Lot now. Oh, no. Gosh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my. That is a silver cuff, and it is very magnetic. And it needs a lot of polishing up, but I don't feel like it. Sorry, folks, I'm putting that in the hobby lot. Hobby lot. <laughs> hobby lot. I like that, though. That's cute. Can't tell. No, that's not a stone missing. Very cute. Lightweight, colorful, which is the theme of the summer. Here's three more bangles. They're all in good shape. Even the little lightweight aluminum is not all bent. This one is acrylic. The plastic, more plastic. It's not got good weight to it. For me to call it acrylic. This one's got pretty uh, design on it. Looks like a brass, and it is. And this one is gold tone. Doesn't have any marks. We're just gonna put them all together. This is the ones I keep saying you can, these are things for your hair and you can wear this on your wrist as a bracelet. And then if you need something to tie your hair back, you got it. And you can change colors too. And you can change the colors. So that's pretty cool. Put that in with them. Okay. Please, sir. Summertime watermelon, watermelon, and that is porcelain. It's a little porcelain watermelon pen. That's an earring. Oh. That's a little puffed heart. And this is goes to something. Yeah, this is brass, a brass piece. I'm going to put that in the uh, hobby lot. I'll let you do that one. Yes, sir. What do you want to bet? I bet I'll cook dinner. Oh, okay. You bet you'll cook dinner. <laughs> and I'll play in the earrings. Oh, yeah, that's silver. Look. Mm -hmm. Good job, honey. Little silver puffed heart. Excellent. So we got a good bit, bit of silver out of this jar. Yep. Well, that's cool. Yeah, I don't know what that is. That's, uh, um. Yeah. What do they call them? Scarab. Oh. Egyptian scarab. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I don't know what function it holds. I mean, is it paperweight or is it? Oh, I don't know. Oh, okay. 
It's a it's a critter we need to send to Clag Queen. There you go. Okay. We got another one we That's need right to there. send to her. Oh, that. Yeah. Okay. There's the other one. She needs some some more critters. Yeah, the gang. The gang. This is this is snail mail, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Airmail, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Snell Airmail. And, uh, hmm, I yeah. don't know. <laughs> so, anyway. That's cute. Here is Made in Belize. Look at the sun. I like those. Those are cool. And here's a little pocketbook. And it's porcelain. See the white? It tells me it's porcelain. Nicely glazed. Little purse charm or pendant. I didn't know what you were doing. Well, there's the lid. You see, the lid's like that, but the bottom of the heart has that velvet, black velvet in it. It's real pretty. We'll keep that out just in case we come up We need it, I know. The, the bottom comes up later. Oh, and this is cute. Oh, I like this. With God, all things are possible. That's a nice coin, and this one too. One day at a time, inch by inch, life's a cinch. Cinch. Yard by yard, life is hard. And then the serenity prayer on the back. That's very awesome. Put them together. Okay, well, we'll be right back. I got to go through the earrings and then I'll come back.